Here. I'll give you an opening. Ah! Mila! What? Now there's two new golems? Ah, bloody hell. I should have known they would build more than one. What'll we do? Yes! Do something! Ah! Ivor? Balin? I'm here to save the day! A spirit fossil? Is this what you found in the Nia Karaholamont? That strange pulsing. It can't be. It can be. It's Maxwell. You have one of those booster magics. That's all you need to make it, right? A Maxwell Spyrite. What? But would you really be able to control a Maxwell Spyrite? Heck if I know. But hey, that's Jude's job, right? I'll buy you some time. Can you translate the spirit signals? Sure I can, but the message doesn't seem to make all that much sense. Muster thy will and prove thyself, for it shall serve as the contract that binds us. How does that not make sense? Prove yourself to the spirit and then it will form a contract so that it helps you. That makes so much sense. That makes like $127 worth of sense. Come on, Balin. Get on my level. Prove yourself? I wonder what we're supposed to do. Who cares? Just do it. Don't do it if you don't know what it means. <sighs> Both of these are awful. R1. No, I'm sure I can handle it. I know that I can make the spy right work for us. <laughs> Maxwell Spirits Now Luger Rowan Understood Jude is now able to utilize Spyrite Maxwell. Jude's Maxwell or Mila's elemental shot are highly eff effective against the golems. Be sure to set them on the art screen. I'm going to do that right now. Let's set my uh, just my normal circle to uh, Maxwell. An arcane art that uses the Maxwell Spyrite to emit shockwaves imbued with the power of all four elements. <laughs> this is amazing. Maxwell is back. The original Maxwell. Mila's still a much better Maxwell because, I mean, no. seriously, she's Mila. But, you know... Well, let's kill the one low on health first. Maxwell, Maxwell get him! There we go, power hits, now! Now beat the crap out of him! Go, Maxwell, keep getting him! Destroy this thing! Die! Ow! Go, Maxwell! Bam! All these power hits! Go! Wind, Link, Cannon! Keep letting me nail all these power hits. Oh, it makes him weak to everything when I hit him. The golden chains of death! Yes! I can't move. I can't move. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now I can move. I accidentally, but whoops. Go, Maxwell! Get him. Get him. Get him. Show him who's boss. Maxwell, go again! Just keep annihilating him, Maxwell. I can't see anything because the other golem is a douche. Or golem, I mean. It's pronounced golem, but I always pronounced it golem, so I do it by habit. I can't provide support right now. I've got to murder stuff. Go! Lightning strike! How much you got left? Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Maxwell, kill him. There we go. There we go. And you're already pretty low on health, aren't you, buddy? Get him, Maxwell! Oh, this is awesome. Jude can now use Maxwell. That's sweet. Die, you. Die. Oh, wait. Check this. Check this. Maxwell. Maxwell. Yeah, Maxwell right there. And then bam. It's time. Chromatis level 2. Here we go. Oh, no. All of my power hits left. I thought I'd be able to continue them. Whatever. He's still in weak mode, so I can just beat the tar out of him right now. Oh, now he's out of weak mode. Crap. This isn't going to do anything now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Can I beat Jude's 13? 
Ah, uh, beat Jude's 13, sweet. Look at this. Luger is breaking records. 25 damage. Holy cow. Luger is OP. Needs to be nerfed. <laughs> get him, Maxwell. Die, die. Maxwell, get him again. No, Maxwell, help. Get him, Maxwell. There we go. Die, you golem, die. And Maxwell is just wrecking these golems. Absolute annihilation. Go again, Maxwell. Oh, really? Only Winling Cannon when I use Maxwell? It should be something like awesome that Mila and Maxwell do together as a combo attack. Keep being weak to stuff. Yeah, just keep being weak. We are annihilating this thing. This is easier than a lot of the EX monsters that we've run into already. Maxwell! Focus! Can I really quick and get up to my, uh... Oh, no, never mind. He's like, nah, I don't think I'm gonna get up to my Mystic Art to finish him. I'm gonna kill him before that. I'm too strong. Oh, the magical paper airplane of death. It's all over for you, Gollum. Die to Maxwell! Bam! Done. Victory is ours, but the real trial is yet to come. Real trial is always yet to come for some reason. The spy ride is too much for him. I'm on it. We'll wrangle this thing together. No, it's not a matter of controlling it. We need to get in sync. We need to find a way to communicate. Ah, interesting. So you do understand. Very well. Then prove yourself to me. <laughs> What do you mean by prove yourself? Muster thy will, and prove thyself, for it shall serve as the contract that binds us. It's the same message as the spirit code. <gasps> it's an old family tune, a real blast from the past. It's called the Hymn of Proof. It's supposed to be about longing to see someone. Mila Kresnik had a wonderful singing voice. It said she sang with such passion that even Lord Maxwell fell under her spell. We gotta sing. <laughs> it's the humor proof. Let's sing. We got this. Wait, you're telling me the song itself is the proof? Actually, that is entirely possible. Maxwell, did you seek proof the very first time you were summoned by a human? I did. The Mila Kresnik who first summoned Maxwell, she was known as the Singing Handmaid. Then perhaps we should sing the hymn of proof passed down to her descendants. Jude. The power of music is here to save the day. How does this prove someone, really? So almighty powerful spirits just, when they get summoned, they're just like, hey, yo, sing for me, and I'll do whatever you want. This makes total sense. I always knew that music was too powerful. So that melody persists in the realm of man. Is it the proof that you sought after? No, it is nothing more than a song. Just a song that was composed on the spot by a young girl named Mila Kresnik. And the words? I suppose you could attribute the loss to humanity's hubris, but at the same time, the melody has persisted through the ages. I take that as a measure of sincerity. What is the song about? I ask you the same question. Tell me, Jude Mathis, what words would you choose for this song? Lyrics fit for both humans and spirits. 
How modest. That girl, Mila Kresnik, unlike you, she was far more forceful. She sang about how she wanted to see me and talk to me, and how she'd yank out my beard if I didn't show up. What a painful thought. It was like a little ditty for children. There was nothing fancy or elegant about it at all. But it did have a line about how she'd give me all her mana if I came out to see her. In that sense, you could say it was like a love song as well. I'm just as determined as she was. I can assure you I will make my version of the song come true. <laughs> it seems that unusual human beings such as yourself somehow show up every few hundred years or so. And to make things interesting, a spirit who believes in him or her appears as well. Maxwell, at the end of the day, what is the proof? You should know that better than anyone else, Maxwell. It is the hearts of men. Jude, you managed to wield a great spirit spyrite. This is all thanks to you, Luger. <clears throat> and to me, of course. I see. All this time, I already had my proof without even knowing it. Congrats, Jude. You've finally done it. No. We have only taken the first step. Gaius and the others should be all finished by now. Let's go ahead and make our way back to Lady Drissel's. <laughs> Luger, what are you doing? <laughs> I never would have imagined that the same underlying principles would govern spirit arts, spirit summoning, and even spyrite creation. I suppose this is an example of failing to see the forest for the trees. Congratulations, Jude. You're ready to create a new future with spyrites. Hmm. Jude? Rideau said that a living sacrifice was needed to summon Maxwell. But if the proof is the human heart, how did the sacrifice myth end up being passed down to the Spurious Corporation? Because of that, the other Mila died. At some point in history, someone must have believed that a sacrifice was the proof. Instilling your devotion into a song, offering a sacrifice as proof of your devotion. In the broadest meaning, they're both means of expressing what's in one's heart. So, even the nature of the proof is decided by the human heart in conjunction with the heart of the spirit who accepts it. Rowan, it won't be spyrites that create our future. It'll be our own hearts. I stand corrected. It is exactly as you say. That was pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, pretty awesome. I like this uh, bonus chapter we got. Very nice. We don't want to go this way. Can I quick jump back to Sheraton? I can indeed. Let's go. That was very cool. We finally got to learn more about Mila Kresnik. The, you know, pretty much finish up her story. Got to see Maxwell again. It was, it was nice. A nice breeze. I could stand yeah, here yeah, stand day. here all day. Dang it. Random spawning in horses. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed this bonus chapter. It might not even be over. I imagine it's pretty much over, but that, I really enjoyed that. Very nice. It really wrapped up the uh, Mila thing and the... Uh, Pretty much, you know, the future of the world concerning spyrites and whatnot. It went pretty well. Aha! I knew you'd all make it back safely. <laughs> there was never a doubt in my mind. Forgive me for worrying you so, my lady. The concern in your eyes is obvious. Th those were just... Just tears of relief. That's all. Everything's going to be okay, Drissel. We smashed those golems to smithereens! 
So you even subdued the new model. Very good work. Thanks. Jude and Luger persuaded the Spyrite of Maxwell to help. Are you serious? Wow, Jude, that's amazing! And quite a scoop, huh? Well, sure, but that's not why I'm so happy. Who knew that song would prove to be the key to Spyrites? Well, in Maxwell's case, at least. Spirits are more like humans than we think. I bet each spirit requires its own proof to gain its trust. Spyrites sound like such a hassle. Yeah, just like humans. They really, yeah, just like humans. Humans are a big hassle. Oh, well said. <laughs> so true. Fair enough. I suppose this leaves Origin's trial as our final obstacle. If we want to protect this world and its people, then it's time we make our way to the land of Canaan. Kinda already did that. But anyways, awesome bonus chapter. I really enjoyed that.